name is Rick Sanchez. I'm with a company called Tractor Tip Equipment and what we have for sale here today is a Bobcat 442E. The serial number on this machine is um, A, D like David, B like boy, S like Sam, 1106. I'm gonna leave that last digit blank. We're gonna talk a little bit about the mechanics of this particular machine in the first clip the operating specs in the second, then we'll run it in the third. Uh, if you buy this machine from me, or some of the others that I have for sale, see we got some forklifts, we got some excavators, some backhoes, compactor, we got a little bit of everything. Uh, point is, uh, if you buy any one of these machines from me, you're gonna be dealing with Perf Provencio, he's the guy running the camera right now. Um, price on a new machine like this these days is, um, I would say around 90, 95,000, maybe even a hundred thousand. You got the Biden tax effect factor in, uh, this machine currently has about 4,000 hours on it, but we run it. So, uh, the hours may accumulate, um, I'm pretty sure the weight on this machine is 16,000 pounds, but I'll verify that later and we'll put it in the listing. But it's somewhere around 16,000, 16 to 17,000 pounds. I don't have it written down. The widest point are these tracks right here at seven, well, actually the blade at seven foot eight inches. The highest point is the top of that cab at nine foot inches. I mean, at nine feet, zero inches. The transportation length when this thing is buckled up uh, or in transport profile is uh, 20 feet. This is like a 7.5 metric ton machine. So comparable machines are like a Komatsu PC-75, a Cabelco 70 SR, a CAT 307.5, so on and so forth. As far as the history of this unit goes, this machine, like almost every machine we purchase, is an original owner Dallas, Texas machine. I say that because it is essentially a rust-free machine. You can see where the where the paint's flecked off and the rainwater's gotten to it, but it in no way, shape, or form is a rust-pervasive machine. I say that because in certain environments, like around the coast and um, you know up north, they may deal with salt, and uh, that's very corrosive. Uh, not only to the uh, metal itself, but the computer components, the DT connectors on the electrical components, it's just bad. So we're 300 miles from the ocean. The only salt we see is the salt on our kitchen table. And we try to avoid that. So um, just about every machine we purchase comes from one of about 30 different large contractor and municipality that we deal with almost exclusively here in the Metroplex. This machine is no exception. We bought this machine from a company that we have done literally millions of dollars of business with back and forth over the years. They have an excellent maintenance program. They're one of the largest contractors in Texas and they have an excellent maintenance program that rivals some of the best I've seen. The service manager is impeccable. I mean, he, uh, he, uh, he's been with a company a long time and he treats all of this equipment like it's his own. And I actually think he does have ownership in the company. But So as far as, now I should say that before I purchase any machine, I have a couple of mechanics go out and inspect it. And if they say everything's okay with the machine, then I send Perf out to go inspect it. If he says everything's okay, then I personally go out and I inspect it before I write a check. So, um, as far as options go, you can obviously see this, this machine has got a hy hydraulic thumb. Now this thumb, if you weren't using it, you could actually take this pin out and uh, take this cylinder off. We don't have quick couple disconnects, but you can put quick cu couple disconnects on this thumb and just take it off. We don't have them you can or you can just unscrew it but the point is is that 
this this ear right here will fold up into this ear grouping right here so you can pin it up oh no i'm sorry it'll fold into this one right here that's what i meant to say so um so you got a you got a hydraulic thumb you've got a coupler here and i'll take a video of this this is a Perf's more familiar with this. It's a mechanical coupler. It's not a hydraulic coupler. Perf's pretty familiar with it. Take this pin out and you lift this up and it releases the bucket. It's pretty easy. Well, this pin is the only thing holding it. Right, this this is your keeper pin That's right here. Pin. And then this, yes, this kind of cups over the pin right there. So it's a pretty effective but simple way to swap buckets. So this is a pin grabbing type uh, coupler so you don't have to just buy bobcat pin, uh, buckets you can buy other buckets from other manufacturers as long as they have a pin plus or minus uh you know five percent on the size so um that's that um it's got an offset boom here when we run it we'll show the advantage of that basically if you're digging up parallel against the wall you can you can dig parallel up, up against the wall with that with that with that uh, swing. Um, I mean that offset boom. I'm sorry. Uh, it's it's got a uh, it's got rubber tracks obviously. Those tracks are like 95 percent. It's got a uh, strike off blade here. It's got a battery disconnect. It's got remote uh, lubrication points. Um, it's got a 12 volt outlet in the cab. Um, oh, it's got an enclosed cab, all the glass is in it. Now here's the thing with this machine. Now we elected not to replace the air compressor. The guy that I bought it from, um, the air, uh, air conditioner compressor is not on this machine. He said that the company he sent it off to get uh, <laughs> to get uh, rebuilt uh, lost the compressor. So he was going back and forth with them and they never, anyway, they settled out of it and it was in the winter. So he just never did uh, replace the air compressor. I mean the compressor for the air conditioner. So uh, I guess you can talk to me about it. If, if you want an air conditioner, then maybe we can you know, buy the air, air compressor and put it on, or you can do it. I mean, I'm discounting the price to reflect that. The, heat, the heater does work. Um, let me see here. As far as this engine goes, this is a, uh, this is a Deutz engine. And uh, it's a 73 horsepower Deutz engine. Those engines are absolutely bulletproof. It's a turbocharged Deutz engine. Um, the fuel tank is uh, 73 uh, gallons. I'm, I'm sorry, 34 gallons, which will run you anywhere from uh, 14 to 18 uh, hours of continuous operation depending on your application of course um, all of the fluid levels on this machine are where they should be there's no leaks on it everything works um, you know you you have uh, you have you have auxiliary circuitry too for like a rotational circuitry if you wanted to put like a rotating shear or something on it so it's a pretty versatile machine. It's got everything that you can put on a machine. Um, like I say, that undercarriage is about 95%. The final drives have got plenty of power to counter rotate or to push. Um, this, uh, this machine has got a 15,000 um, pound drawbar pull, which basically it, it what a drawbar pull is it's the amount of weight that a machine can push or pull in addition to its own. So um, 
this machine has got an impressive 15,000 pounds. It's like a little bulldozer. Um, like I said, the hydraulics are strong. There's no cracks or welds anywhere in the work equipment. We'll go up and down this boom here. All of these pins and bushings are relatively tight. This kingpin area is pretty tight too. There's no deflection or any kind of problem in the Rotec or the turntable. Now we didn't, uh, we should have probably washed this machine, but you get to see what it looks like in its working clothes. Um, these teeth right here are about nine. Sorry about that, we clicked the wrong button. So these teeth are about 95%, they're twin tiger teeth. I may have another bucket for this machine, I'm not, not positive, but I'll, I'll look. And I'll include it in the posting, I guess. But this machine is priced as equipped right now. It does not, again, it does not include any other buckets. So um, that bucket is 20 inches wide. It's 42 inches tall, and it's 40 inches deep, probably about a fifth of a yard. This thumb right here is 42 inches long. That's just dirt right there in case anybody's wondering. It's 42 inches long, and it's eight and a quarter inches wide. Um, the maximum dig depth on this machine is 14 feet. The maximum reach at ground level from the center of the swing is 25 feet. The maximum dig height, it'll reach up to 20 feet. The breakout force is 11,970 pounds. And the front lifting capacity, that, that, that tire right there probably weighs four or 500 pounds, maybe. It's a 20.5, it's a radial, it's a heavy tire. Um, but it'll, it'll lift, um, it says 3,395 pounds from the front right here. Over the front, when I say over the front, I mean when it's, it's uh, parallel to the tracks. When you go out, you know, you lose a little bit of lifting capacity or when you're trying to lift from the side, obviously you lose a little lifting capacity because you don't have the counterweight. Uh, this shoe width is, uh, 18 inches you got eight foot six inches of track on the ground and you got a 4.4 psi rating for this machine which basically means like uh, me i'm six foot one i weigh about 200 pounds me standing here i'm about 22 psi that machine right there is 4.4 psi so that machine even though it's heavier than i am obviously because of the distribution it's actually lighter on the ground than a grown man. So uh, basically what we're gonna do next is we're gonna run the machine, uh, throw that tire around for a little bit, and uh, what else, Perf? What do you got to add? Um, what do you think? Bobcat, good brand. Um, yep. Nothing much more to mention. Thumb's a nice attachment, undoubtedly. Good yep. tracks. Yes, sir, good machine. It's a good machine, so we're gonna run it in the next clip.
ones. I mean, it's nothing for this excavator, but just to give you an idea of the uh, of the power of this machine. Okay, so this is the inside of the cab here. This is your swing control. This is your blade control. This is your travel control. That's your uh, your safety lever. Turn this thing. 